This is question 15 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Higher Maths exam. We're told that the rate of change of the temperature, capital T, of a mug of coffee is given by this formula. It involves little t, which is the time elapsed in minutes after the coffee is poured into the mug. So it'll start at t equals zero. And then there's a constant at the end, minus k. And we're told that initially the temperature's 100 degrees. Well, we could certainly write down when t equals 0, the temperature was 100. And also 10 minutes later, so that's when t equals 10, the temperature's fallen to 82. So these are a pairs, two pairs of values that we'll come back to. But initially then, the rate at which the temperature is changing is given by 25th of T minus K. And we're asked to find T, basically, in terms of little t. So we'll have to work out what K is. So... Rate of change, the opposite of differentiating, is integrating. So we'll retrieve capital T from this by integrating it. So we'll have to integrate a 25th of T minus K. So that's what we're integrating. Now, we have an integration formula. Let's try and recall that. It's to do with, well, normally it's to do with powers of x. And the rule tells us to increase the index by 1 and then divide by that new index. And we have to remember the constant of integration. We always have to add c to that. In this case, it's a power of t that we're integrating. So again, we'll increase the index by 1 and divide by the new index and then add a constant. So unfortunately, this has got a number at the front of it. If, if there is a number, a for instance, at the front, it just sits there. a at the front, it just sits there. So we'll, we'll do that. It doesn't affect things much. So let's integrate. So we've got a number that sits there, a 25th. t to the power 1, we increase that to t squared and divide by the new power. Now we're integrating a constant. If we inst integrate something like 2, for instance, we get 2x. You can always check that by differentiating back. When you differentiate 2x, find the gradient of y equals 2x graph, you'll get back to 2. So if we have a constant k, for instance, normally it would be k times x plus a, a constant. In case of having t as the variable, then we would introduce a t instead of x. So integrating that minus k, a t will appear there. We're introducing the variable t. You can check by differentiating kt, you'll get back to just this constant. And we must remember the constant of integration c. So that's an expression for t. It's certainly not a uh, only in terms of t because of this k and this constant of integration. So we now bring in the rest of the information that we have. So let's try this. When t equals 0, we know that t equals 100. So from what we've got before, or now, uh, let's put 100 in. Now this is awkward. We've got, in effect, a double-decker fraction. Let's multiply the top of this fraction by 25. That'll get rid of the 25th and it'll become a 1. And if we multiply the bottom of the fraction by 25, two 25s are 50. 
that's a slightly easier uh, form of this to work with. So 100 for t equals 0 squared over 50. That's 0. Minus k times 0. That's 0. Plus c. So the constant c is equal to 0. Uh, is equal to 100. Let's use the second piece of information we've got here. That after a lapse of 10 minutes, when t equals 10, the temperature has fallen to 82 degrees. So t equals 82. And we'll use this formula that we've got here. 82 on the left equals 10 squared over 50. Minus k times 10 plus the constant c, which we now know is 100. So we have 82 equals uh, 10 squared is 100, 100 over 50 is 2, 10k minus 10k plus 100. So let's add 10k to both sides and we'll get 10k here. We've got 102 on the right hand side and let's take away 82 from both sides. So we end up with 10k being equal to 20. So therefore k equals 2. So finally, the expression we've been looking for, capital T is equal to a fiftieth of t squared, or t squared over 50, minus 2 times t, plus constant, which we knew was 100. We worked that out as 100. So there's the express t in terms of t. There's the expression for t in term, capital T in terms of little t. It's a quadratic expression.